Do you ever wonder what you're saved as in other people's cell phones? <laughs> you know, like you. You could be Lisa, drunk girl from Astro Burger. <laughs> or you, you could be Tommy, Tropicana Pool, amazing abs. <laughs> if you worked out. <laughs> and my cell phone rings and I looked down and all it said was, Jay, do not answer. <laughs> First of all, who the hell is this Jay kid and why do I hate him so much? <laughs> Secondly, why am I giving out my number to random people and then immediately feeling the need to fix it? <laughs> it's like, you can't give out fake cell phone numbers anymore. You know, it's like, hey baby, let me get your number. Here, I'll call you right now so you have mine. <laughs> Six four six. I must have given you my landline. You know, I feel bad doing it, but sometimes guys are just so creepily aggressive about it. It's like, I'll give you a call. I'll give you a ride home. I'll watch you through the window while you fall asleep. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will take your name. What was it? Jason. Got it. Last name. Do not answer. <laughs> call me. <laughs> you know, another thing. Text messages. You know, women, myself included, completely overanalyze text messages. Yes, I know you guys do too. It's okay, we all do it. But it's obsessive and self-destructive. I was out the other night and I, I met a guy that I liked, so I gave him my real number. And he said he was gonna call. And so that means two to three days later, I receive a text message. Something like, what's up, babe? Busy this weekend? Wink face. <laughs> and I'm reading it, and I'm like, oh my god, he's texting me, he must really like me, that's so sweet, and he called me babe. Oh, babe, wait a minute, does he not remember my name? What is he texting every girl he met last week, calling them babe? <laughs> and he said busy this week, but there was no question marks. So does that mean that he's busy, or he's asking me if I'm busy? Because I don't want to text back and say that I'm free if he's busy, because then I'll look desperate. I'm not desperate, right? That looks good, I wore the black dress, which is a little bit of cleavage. Oh my god, he thinks I'm a slut. He thinks I'm a total slut. that's making romance difficult? I think it's women. You know? See, no, listen. We're so into being independent that some women refuse to be romanced. It's like, what, you're gonna try to pay for my dinner now? You don't think I can afford it? I make more money than you, asshole. I don't blame a guy for waiting to see if we're gonna reach for the check. No, I'm all for being an independent woman. But I enjoy being treated like a lady. And do you boys have any idea how much a bikini wax costs? <laughs> you can buy my Caesar salad. This girl knows. Yeah, oh, you get a bikini wax? You know what, you should buy the real drink. You should get her too, because they hurt. <laughs> guy write a song about you. Yeah? Yes! <laughs> yes, my body is a wonderland. Thank you, John Mayer. Eric Clapton, I do look wonderful tonight. I am a fine motherfucker. I will back that ass up. <laughs> I'm from Maine, and I moved out here and thought that some rock star was going to fall for me and broadcast his love over Sirius Satellite Radio. <laughs> and it hasn't happened yet, but I have a season's pass to the Roxy, I hang out to the Viper Room, it's gonna happen. But at this point, I think I'd settle for a YouTube stalker with a harmonica. <laughs> but there was one guy, Tom, from the Plain White Tees. He wrote the most incredible love song for this girl in New York. And while the rest of the world fell head over heels, this girl couldn't have cared less. It's like, girls like that piss me off. Who the hell 
does she think she is to be above the power of an emo man with a guitar? You know, he's like serenading her on voicemail and she's all like, Tommy, do not answer. <laughs> so, I wrote a little response to Tommy and that song. This one's for you, Tommy. <laughs> What's up, Tommy? Hey, it's Kel in Angel City. Just forget that bitch Delilah, because I changed your little ditty to get through. Dude, she's just not into you. Here's what you do. Cheer up, Tommy, cause I drove across the states, yeah, I packed up my Jeep Grand Cherokee and changed my plates from Maine to Malibu. I Google mapped your house out too. It's got a view. Oh, and what you're looking for. Oh, forget Delilah, she's a whore. Oh, and what you're looking for. Oh, forget Delilah, she's a whore. I'd love you so much more. Hey there, Tom, you know she wears a good disguise. Cause while well, you're out here writing songs to her, she's fucking other guys in the night. Zero Delilah, one Kelly. It's crazy. more to say can we meet up at coffee bean and you can teach me how to play more of your rhymes my heart is beating to your time your place or mine <laughs> oh we make love in key of f oh i bet delilah is tone deaf oh you're sexy as can be Oh, and you know how to hit a G, and that's enough for me. That's enough for me.